Hi, this is Andres, and today I wanted to share with you an application that I just open sourced in GitHub. What this application does is basically retrieve the drive IDs from uh, any site that you've got access to, navigating through the different document libraries and the items inside those document libraries. So I will walk you through the application right now and uh, show you how to uh, download it and install it in your uh, Python environment of choice. And then we will see why it can be useful for you in which scenarios will save you some time. All right, then, so let's uh, retrieve some sites here. I'm going to here, uh, yeah, uh, hit dev and click into the search button. And we see that we retrieved two sites over here. And now allow me to move to the other side. Here we go. So that you can see, well, I'm going to uh, press this button so that I will grab the site over here and then uh, query the um, SharePoint libraries and lists inside this site. So let's go. And I've also now well, put some uh, search string over here, project man, and well, we have one list and one uh, document library. You see that the list doesn't have a drive ID. Uh, SharePoint lists don't have uh, drive IDs, but document libraries do, and this is the ID that we are looking for. Now, so we click here and we are going to retrieve right here using this button, the uh, files inside this SharePoint library. So let's go. Okay, and I'm going to move again. Here we go. Um, basically, well, in the right, you see all the different uh, uh, files. And well, I could grab the ID over here <clears throat> or select right now. This, this would be an Office script uh, file. And well, if I copy, well, you can recognize this as the typical file I drive that we would find in um, OneDrive using the Graph API. Now, uh, let's walk through the GitHub repository. This is public. You can access the link is on the description box of this video. And basically here you can see the readme. It's basically the installation instructions and some uh, words about what this solution will do for you. And um, basically if you navigate to this folder solutions, well, of course you can uh, clone or uh, download this repository completely. And otherwise you can just go to solution folder and here uh, download any of these two files, which are the solution that will con that contains the canvas app and the flows inside of it. Let's work with you through them. So, well, of course uh, you can click in here and then uh, you will be able to download it using this button over here. Now let's take a look at what's inside the solution. And basically we've got five items. It's a very small solution. We have uh, the application, three flows, connect, and a connection reference. Uh, so let's walk you through that. Basically, well, the application, well, you've already seen that. There's a mystery over there. Interesting things, uh, interesting things here are the three flows, which are basically calling the Graph API. So let's uh, just open one of them because the structure is the same for the three flows. The only difference is what we are retrieving. So let's uh, pick the um, SharePoint libraries uh, retriever flow, for example. So uh, good list items, good list. Okay, so let's uh, well directly edit in a new tab. And let's take a look at this simple flow. So basically we are retrieving the site ID, which comes from the previous call. And then we are leveraging the graph API. So basically the endpoint is sites with the site ID and then lists and expand the drive. And this, uh, well, like actually let's see a previous execution to see the raw data that's retrieving the graph API. So let's click in this execution. And here we go. This is what we got out of here. So if we jump in here, we've got this is what we expanded using the drive, drive, uh, the graph API. We are expanding the drive, which includes this ID. Okay. Um, well, the, also the parent, well, it's telling you draft type that's a document library and that you have also, uh, 
uh, pointer to the owner. In this case, it's a group and a Microsoft 365 group. So it also has uh, themes. Well, you know the drill, but basically what we are uh, seeing here is a drive associated to this document library because in SharePoint, behind the scenes, the storage is um, placed in one drive. And when we want to retrieve the contents of a file, for example, so we can use the path or you, we can use the drive IDs. Let's see why this application can save you a lot of time when developing power reference solutions when you are using um, basically OneDrive, Office scripts, so Excel run scripts, and uh, well, kind of this approach, templates, etc. All right, so let's take this example. Okay, you don't need to understand where this is coming from. What the only thing that you need to understand is that here, uh, in this particular action in Power Automate, we are calling the action run a Office script inside an Excel file. Okay, so when you do that, uh, allow me to pull this up. So when you click add an action and you go to Excel online, okay, you see where it say run. Okay, yeah, uh, we have two options. Okay, run a script and run a script from a SharePoint library. What's the difference? Uh, run a script will get an Office script, uh, so this Excel type script that you can execute in any uh, workbook, and uh, it will be an, a script that's in your personal OneDrive. So if you are developing a solution that's going to be consumed by other people, it's not a, a good practice. In fact, I actually went through a project where I had to redo completely some scripts because the guy, the previous developer left the organization. And when I came there to help, uh, what happened is that, um, well, I had to rewrite the, the scripts because when the user was um, deleted from the organization, the Office scripts in his personal OneDrive were also deleted. Now, um, instead, if we use these, and this would be the preferred option, the only option I would argue is run scripts from a SharePoint library. So what's the difference here? Let's navigate here. So we are in a document library, and you see here, this is the actual script. If we navigate inside the script, uh, this is basically the TypeScript code in it, okay? Um, what we are doing is instead of saving and storing this Excel script in my personal OneDrive if anything were to happen to me. Well, uh, we have it in a SharePoint library, okay? Uh, meaning that, well, it's safe there. We can have even version, better version control, share with other colleagues, etc. And okay, but how can we retrieve that dynamically? Because now we are in the, as you can see here, we are in the developer environment. But at a certain point, I'm going to be uh, deploying to test and to production. So where and how can I get these IDs? Because when I click into here, uh, into this section, and this is the, the action, get uh, uh, run Excel from a SharePoint library. I'm asked for the workbook location. This will be a site. So I'm using here an environment library for, as you can see, the uh, site, okay, SharePoint site for this project. Workbook library, this would be the drive ID. So here we would be retrieving this very ID. Uh, and same here, well, here is well, which workbook uh, this is um, uh, configuration, but it should be also, okay, what wor workbook? This, uh, this workbook actually. And again, we are achieving it uh, via drive ID, not SharePoint ID. And then the script, the script location, this is the site, this is the library, and this is the ID of the site. And well, the site, uh, would be the regular uh, environment variable, but these two, uh, script library and script, are drive IDs. So actually, these two, this one and this ID over here. So uh, when we configure the environment variables for this particular project, what we are doing is okay, the side is going to be as usual. Uh, the current site over here, okay? But when we say, okay, what's the 
drive ID of the templates library, this is the kind of ID that we are looking for. And the same for the Office Script drive ID MD, which we are using for uh, for um, well, translating the Excel template into a suitable format for our Azure functions. But this is a different story for a different day coming up. Well, maybe not soon, but in the uh, near future. All right, so this was it. Um, you see here, go to the repository. It's uh, open source. Uh, you will find all the details in the readme and inside the solution files, there's well, actually what I showed you uh, a minute ago. App, three flows, connection reference, because we're using the uh, pre-authorized um, enter ID connector to leverage the graph API. And that's the next time that you need to um, well uh, use a Office scripts or Word templates or a retrieval of a configuration files, things like that, that are going to be sitting on top of SharePoint. Well, uh, you won't need to do fancy things to retrieve the drive IDs or use the graph uh, explorer as I usually do. You just need to use this application. I hope it serves you well. And uh, well, uh, see you soon. If you have any questions or recommendations, please um, let me know in the video or send a contact a request via my personal website, which the link, is, well, the link is also in the description. I'll be happy to help your organization. Uh, well, uh, that's that. Thank you very much. See you soon.